Hey everyone, this is Chanyote66, and I just wanted to touch base a little bit on the My Fly Dream Autopilot. Uh, I'm just going to do uh, basically a quick overview and review of it. I've flown multiple different autopilot systems, and when this came out, I did everything possible to contact the manufacturer, see where to get one, how to get one, and if they had it in the U.S. already. This autopilot is amazing. Everything about it that I've messed with is years ahead of everything else. The only similar one that is out there um, in simplicity would be the FY41 AP. Um, but I pulled away from doing that because there was tons of reviews and people having issues with it. So I said I'm not going to mess with that. I went through multiple uh, development systems and I wanted something out there that I could plug in, go, and had support. The My Fly Dream guys pretty much answered same day or next day. A lot of them are in China. We do have a few uh, supporters here in the U.S. Uh, that help out. But they are extremely fast at getting answers and resolving any issues that come up. Um, there's many changes that have been made to this um, from its release until now and it hasn't been out that long. Uh, it came out mid last year uh, when it actually hit the market and its big debut was right around January uh, this year when that's when it really started taking off. Uh, some of the key elements of this is it's one of the only systems that is fully vibration dampened inside the box. If you've seen some of my other videos uh, I do mention that but that is a critical element when you're starting to look into different aircraft. Um, like if you're building a full composite aircraft, you don't want to have to suspend this thing in there to get it to balance correctly. You want to be able to just take this, permanently mount it to a, a frame or support or something that you're going to put in the aircraft to make it easy. You don't want to have to worry about a cable getting caught and pulling down and now it's not using vibration dampening or whatever you'd have to worry about on those. Um, any of the bungee systems I don't really like. Uh, if you haven't seen it, RVOSD has uh, one system where it's like a, a bungee support system. But this doesn't need that. I mean, if you want an extreme situation, you could use it, but there's no need. I've uh, actually mounted this to a multi-rotor that had props out of balance to see how well it vibrate or dampened the vibrations, and it did much better than I expected. Uh, I was actually watching, I was watching for Artificial Horizon Drift, uh, which I didn't see any of. I didn't get any recording because my ground station recorder is messing up right now. So if anyone has any recommendations for one of those, uh, I will definitely look into that. But back to the My Fly Dream. Um, it's all in one, so you have the autopilot, the on-screen display, everything in here. So it's very simple connections. Check out my wiring it up. Um, for how to actually connect everything. What I want to do is on this one is touch some of the features that stand out from others. This has a launch mode on it. Not many have that. There are some that you can put into return to home, throw it in the air, and it'll start circling its way up, but that's not a true launch mode. What this does is it actually locks in a specific degree that you set and takes off. So when you throw it, and throttle up, it will actually lock into that position and climb. One of the nicest things that this could possibly have. I have a uh, Talon, it's by uh, X2AV, that I have a gimbal on it. I want to be able to make sure that I am completely ready, everything's how I want, to be able to do some nice uh, aerial photography. And I don't want to have to worry about risking my gimbal that's on the front of it crashing into the ground. Especially when you're doing a lot of hand launches, you do have a major dip until airspeed gets up. This can help counter that because you can mainly focus on your throttle control and just getting it in the air. You basically just take it, throw it when it's in launch mode, and it'll do what it needs to do to get there. As long as your plane has the power, it'll go. Um, some of the other things is the return to home. If you take this out of the box and you put in your aircraft, and make sure your control serves are the correct direction. So if it needs to turn left and your ailerons are set correctly, 
and it needs to go up and your rudder's up correctly, it's going to return home. You fly out, hit a switch, it's done. You don't have to dial much in. Now, saying that, you do need to dial it in later, but it is one of those you could take out of the box, throw it in a plane, and fly it, and it will return back. It may be a little rough, but it will come back. Um, there's a lot out there, like the APM. You have to do a lot of programming to get it to actually just come back to you. You have to set up everything. And this has simple gains to work with. You don't have to worry about like six different gains for your ailerons and three different gains for your elevator and anything like that. You just go in, has some simple gain controls, and you're done. Uh, it has a extremely responsive artificial horizon. It's probably one of the most responsive that I have ever seen. Um, I've actually been in the military with live aircraft and seen their artificial horizons, and it is very similar to full scale uh, with the responsiveness, reaction, and how it interacts with the environment. It hasn't, I haven't been able to confuse it yet, uh, going inverted or anything like that, where there are some systems that will just lock up uh, and the artificial horizon will not respond correctly once you flip it over. Uh, you have to get it back to level before it'll actually start responding again. Um, especially in rolls and things. Uh, I don't have any aircraft that I actually do any acrobatics with. Um, but if you had an aircraft like that, you want it to be responsive. And I have tested that. I've taken, uh, inverted a couple of my aircraft just to see how the Arctic Horizon worked. And it was immaculate. Everything came back exactly where it was supposed to be. Returned to home worked perfectly. Um, the only issue I've ever had was actually of my own fault. And that was I set the uh, max turn limits and, el and uh, climb limits too low. So when my aircraft tried to turn, it took it about a mile and a half to make a full turn around. But after talking on the forums, I found that I just had to uh, increase my limits so that it could actually turn bank more into the turns and everything was good. So out of the box, into the sky, easy to use. I would highly recommend this. Anything else out there that you guys recommend, I'll definitely take a look at. Um, another one of the competitors out there right now that people have been talking about is the Cyclops Tornado. Um, I haven't seen it and haven't been able to do a review on it yet, um, but it's like a entry level competitor. But this has some advantages of the ground side with an amazing support system. The ground tracker on this is one of the most precise ground or aircraft trackers out there. The antenna tracker, the My Fly Dream antenna tracker, uh, is extremely precise. They have some amazing features that they were putting into it. Um, you actually can link two of the trackers together and see your friend's aircraft on your screen so that you don't have to be asking them, hey, where are you at? Where are you going? Which direction are you going? You just see them right on your screen. And that is an amazing benefit, especially when you're trying to fly tandem or in a group of people. You can see where they're at so you can have uh, prevent mid-air collisions and it's easier to find someone and track them down. And that works directly with this, uh, which actually transmits its data over video and audio. So for people like me that I don't use audio channels on anything, it transmits it over the video. So the antenna tracker could pick it up decode the information it needs to be able to track the aircraft and send data if I had a friend that had one. So, tons of great features. Check back soon. I'll have some flight videos and I'll be continuing on uh, with my build videos now that I actually have a little bit more time. Uh, I've been catching up on a few of my videos and uh, reviews and you'll see more of those coming down the line and definitely more flights and videos recorded from this MyFly Dream Autopilot, or the MFDAP, as you may see it on some forums. So check back soon. Chan Yoke.